So here we have the Ford Fiesta on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As you can see, we have plenty of boot space given the size of the car. Uh, you can increase that space even further if you wish to uh, by folding down the 60-40 split folding rear seats as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. And above that, the trip computer for the car, which includes the total miles of 14,719. You can change the information displayed in that main section for various things from vehicle settings, your phone, audio and satellite navigation menus. And then if you wish to, uh, the digital readout for the speedometer as well. The buttons I was using to do that are on the right hand side just here. Beneath that we have stereo and phone controls. Stereo controls continue over on the left hand side with cruise control and speed limiter as well. Over in the center, we have the main touch screen for the car. This is where you pair your phone Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And just follow the instructions on screen from there. Uh, we have satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this works on our website and on our YouTube channel. Uh, and then when it comes to audio, we have plenty of ways we can listen to that as well. Uh, so AM, FM and DAB radio. Uh, we have Bluetooth audio as well. And this car has two separate USB inputs. So you can plug devices into those they will then appear up on here as further options for you. Working our way down with the main volume for the stereo, uh, we then have climate control at the bottom just here. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning off in this case, or back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that at any time you wish to. Uh, underneath that section, we have these buttons here. So we have a heated driver's seat, a heated passenger seat, a heated front screen, and a heated steering wheel as well. The seats both have three separate heat settings each. And we do have a rear heated screen to go with that front heat heated screen as well. We have a 12 volt charging socket, one of the two USB inputs I mentioned a moment ago, a six speed manual gearbox, and then these buttons just here. So uh, you can put the car in eco mode, you can turn off the traction control and this button turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is now turned off. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.